Well, it's a little early for that, but I love celebrating Christmas all year long, so why not do it in July? Today, I am going to be doing a Christmas in July themed video. <laughs> to be making a beautiful Christmas themed sign. It's going to be perfect to display during the holidays. We'll be prepared because we will already have one piece of Christmas decoration already made. My video is sponsored by Cricut. Today we are going to be doing a look for less Christmas sign. Now I found this sign on Etsy and I just fell in love with it. Absolutely beautiful. It's so festive. It's got a classy touch and I thought, oh, this is perfect. I completely want to make a version for myself. The problem was on the Etsy website, it was around hundred dollars, which isn't terrible but I knew that we could make it for so much less. So that's what we are going to do today. So first off, I headed to my wood pile out in my garage. This is where all of my excess wood from all of my projects is. I selected a piece that was perfect for my sign. I got out my jigsaw and I cut the wood to size. Now my inspiration piece had some trim molding around the edges to create a frame. And so I wanted to do the exact same thing. Again, I'm going to be using some trim molding that was left over from all the molding that I did on the wall in my dining room. If you remember, we saw that dining room transformation last week and I had a lot of extra molding left over from the gorgeous designs that we created on the wall. I again got out another one of my favorite saws. This time we're getting out the miter saw and I cut my wood trim at 45 degree angles to create pieces that were perfect to go along the edge to create a frame on my sign. Now that I have the large wood piece for the sign and the trim for the edges, we are going to stain this large piece of wood that's gonna create our sign. I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum Antique White Wood Stain. I already have this, so again, this is not gonna cost me any additional money. What I did was I got a sponge brush and I added the stain to the wood. I painted it all over the entire surface of this wood piece. Once it was completely coated in the paint, I got a paper towel and I wiped off the excess stain. The reason why I'm wiping off the excess is because I want to be able to see the grain that's in the wood. The white stain did dry pretty solidly, but you can still see a little bit of the grain that's running through the sign. You can see it just kind of peeking through, which is the look that I really was going for. Once it was all painted and the excess stain was wiped off, I let it dry completely, which took overnight. I had a hard time finding a font that mimicked exactly my inspiration piece font. So what I did was I just created my own. So I wrote Christmas out in this twirly scroll Christmas. Oh, I just love the way it looks. It's just, I don't know, fancy, but classy at the same time. And the way that we're going to create all of the detail and the wording on my sign is we're going to be using my Cricut Maker. So I started off by getting some red permanent vinyl. This is a smart vinyl. In my Cricut Design Space, I hit New Project. Then I went to Upload because we're uploading a custom design I created. So I hit Upload Image. I had saved my custom design in my downloads. All I needed to do was select, drag, and drop it right into my design space. Now I can remove the background by hitting moderately complex because this isn't a very complex image. Then I hit continue and then I took that crossbar and I just selected the background. In all those little places I just want to get rid of the white so that uh, the background just disappears and I just have Christmas. Then I hit apply and continue. Then I selected my design and I hit upload. 
Now I can select it again and put add to canvas. Now I can create the size that I need. So it's just a custom size that will fit my board. So I made it to the size I needed and then clicked make it. At this point, I selected continue. And then I chose my material, which was a smart vinyl permanent. And I hit more on the pressure. I loaded it into my Cricut Maker and then I hit the flashing arrow button, which measured it out to make sure I had enough vinyl. Once it was done measuring, I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. When it was done cutting, I hit the flashing arrow button and it released my vinyl. To create all of my other lettering on my sign, I'm going to be using a black smart vinyl. In my Cricut Design Space, I hit new project. Then I went to images. In the search bar, I typed in banner. Several options came up. I scrolled down and selected this banner right here and hit add to canvas. Then I went and I unlocked the size and I typed in the custom size I needed. At this point, I hit text. I typed in at, put it above my banner, put the font the size I needed, and then I rotated it so it would fit in my banner. Next, I moved it so it was in the center. Then I hit text again and I typed in the. I did the exact same thing. I put the font size to the same, similar as I did the at, and I rotated it as well and moved it to the center of the second side of the banner. Then I hit select all and went down and pressed attach. And now the banner and the lettering are welded together and create one design. Then I hit text and I typed in welcome to, then I went up to the font. I knew the font I wanted. So I typed that in the search bar. I selected it to change the font. Then I unlocked the size and typed in the custom size that I needed. And kind of moved that out of the way. Next, I hit text again and I typed in burning hams. And then I went to font and I knew the font that I needed. So I typed that in the search bar as well, selected it to change the font. I unlocked the size and typed in the custom size. Now I did go back later on and change this to all uppercase letters. Then I hit text again. And once I did that, I realized I forgot the E on welcome. So I quickly edited that. And then I wrote established in 1999, cause that's how long we've been married. Then I went back up to the font and in the search bar, I typed in the font that I wanted. I selected it to change the font. And then I just kind of moved it around so I could see it a little bit better. Then I went up to the lock. I unlocked it so I could type in the custom size that I wanted for my lettering. And finally, I went to images and in the search bar, I typed in Christmas corner bracket. Several options came up. I scrolled down and I selected the one with the hanging stars. I hit add to canvas. I've got a lot of things on my canvas right now, so I moved it out of the way so I could see it a little bit more clearly. I unlocked the size. I typed in the custom size that I wanted. And then I went over and I hit duplicate because I needed two, but I wanted this one to be on the other side. So I flipped it and believe it or not, we have all of our pieces. So I hit make it sorted it onto my mat. We are doing it without a mat because we are using a smart vinyl. I hit continue. At this point, I selected my smart vinyl permanent and I hit more on the pressure. I loaded my smart vinyl into my Cricut Maker. I hit the flashing arrow button, which measured out to the correct size. Once it was completed, I hit the flashing play button, which began the cutting process. Once it was all done cutting all of my wording, I hit the flashing arrow button, which released my vinyl. And for my cute little trees, I'm going to be using a green and white checked vinyl. In my Cricut Design Space, I hit New Project. I clicked on Images. In the search bar, I typed in Christmas trees. Several options came up. I scrolled down and selected this tree right here and hit Add to Canvas. In my canvas, I selected my tree and then went up and unlocked the size 
so I could type in the custom size that I needed for my sign. Once it was the correct size, I went over and I hit duplicate, so I had two trees, and then I hit make it. Now I can select if I'm gonna do it with a mat or without, this is going to be on the mat, and then I hit continue. At this place, you can select your material. I am using a premium vinyl, and I always hit more on the pressure. I'm going to be putting this vinyl on a mat. I loaded my mat into the Cricut Maker. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my vinyl into the maker. Then I hit that flashing play button, which began the cutting process. Once my trees were all cut, I hit that flashing arrow button, which released my mat, and now I have my beautiful trees. At this point, I just weeded away all of the excess vinyl from around my wording, Then I got some transfer tape and I placed it over the top of my wording. Then I got a large scraper tool and I pressed the transfer tape and the vinyl firmly together. Then I removed the backing from the vinyl. My video today is part of a collaboration with such wonderful, lovely friends. We are getting together and we are going to be bringing you Christmas in July. So each one of these fabulous creators are going to be making some Christmas DIYs. The host of this collaboration is Liana from Liana DIY. I will leave a link to the playlist in my description box as well as a link to Liana's channel. So make sure that you head on over to the Christmas playlist and just, I don't know, feel the, feel the Christmas love, feel the holiday spirit, even in July. I'm sure you'll get some great inspiration. Now I can place my vinyl on my sign. So I needed it to be exactly in the center, so I measured out where it would be, and then I put my vinyl right on the wood. I got that scraper tool and I pressed the vinyl firmly to the wood, and then I removed the transfer tape. I continued the process of weeding away all of the excess vinyl from all of the other words. And then I did the same thing where I put the transfer tape over the top, pressed everything firmly together, removed the backing from the vinyl, and then placed my wording on my sign. I pressed it firmly to my sign with my large scraper tool and then removed the transfer tape. I did the same thing with my two trees. I placed them in the bottom corners and then for the top, I placed them in the upper corners of my sign. Now I have all my vinyl on my sign. Woo, that was a process, but oh my goodness, I absolutely love the way that it looks. It looks so similar to my inspiration piece and then the only thing that I have to do now is add my molding pieces around the edge. Now, the reason why I waited this long to do it is because when I was putting all the transfer tape and everything on, I wanted to be able to flatten everything out really nicely and I didn't want the transfer tape and the vinyl and everything to stick to the sides. So we're putting it on now. The way I'm going to be doing it is with some liquid nails. We're serious about this molding sticking to the side. So what I did was I just ran a line of liquid nails along the edge of my wood. And then I placed my molding pieces right over the top of the liquid nails. I let this dry overnight. That way it would be on there permanently. And now we are all finished. Can you believe how easy that was? I just am so in love with the way that this sign looks and it looks so similar to my inspiration piece, but it costs much, much less. So let's find out how much I spent on my sign. So as you saw, we had extra wood, so it's not gonna cost me any extra for this large piece and also for the trim molding. Those were just leftovers, so that's zero dollars. I already had the stain, so that's again, not gonna cost me any money. I spent, I'm going to estimate about $10 on the vinyl and the transfer tape. And liquid nails I already had. I can't think of anything else that we spent. So 
for me to create this sign, it only cost $10, which is a huge savings over our inspiration piece. To make this sign for $10, what a deal. It is going to be perfect for the holidays. I am so looking forward to decorating already and it's only July, but the holidays will be here before we know it. So we might as well start decorating now. I will leave a link to all of the products that I used, all of the vinyl. I'll leave uh, measurements for how large everything was. I will also leave a free printable for this Christmas word. So all those links and everything will be in my description box. So if you want to make a sign just like mine, you have all the tools that you need. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.